You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox on KLOS. Time is 12, almost 13 minutes after 12 bells on a Friday. It's nice and warm outside with a bit of wind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, come on. What's the funny? <laughs> a bit of wind. <laughs> we know you well, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there will be wind. Yes. And it's not the Santa Ana's either. I think it is, though, actually. It is today, actually, yeah. It scares. Whenever I get Santa and as I get scared now, it's going to be fine. Ah. I'm just a doomsday merchant. As long as it's not the San Andreas. Well, that's coming too. And then a tsunami. <laughs> well, you're just a, a hopeful chap today, aren't you? Yeah, I'm one of them blokes who used to go down Oxford Street with a thing on his thing. With a thing over his shoulder. The end is nigh. The end is nigh. A sandwich board? Yeah. Aye. I always looked at them guys and I'm like, they're, they're nuts. But I can see myself being one of them guys now. A sign. Yeah. Me dad's a sign. It'd be bloody sign. <laughs> Baby Jesus. <laughs> um, we're here with Viv Campbell and Hello. Phil Susan. Hello. How are you? Back again, Phil. Back again, yeah. It's a pleasure to be back. Actually, we never left. It's like the Grateful Dead fan that's been to your house, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> is that what they do? He's, no, he's still there. I, I don't know. He's still tripping. He's still there. He's still tripping. Vivian Campbell. Bit of a girl's name, isn't it? It is. A real puff's name. Yep. <laughs> you can't say that anymore, Steve. I just said it. <laughs> uh, modern man, Steve Jones. <laughs> cultured chap. We were just talking about how cultured Phil is. Before we came, yeah. What was we talking about? Because he knows about sushi and stuff. He had a restaurant. Yeah. Tell us the tell us the the difference between Japanese and West Western sushi. Well, uh, sushi started originally about it was all about the rice, so it's about the rice and the flavour of that, and then they add a little bit of fish on top of it, which gives it its spin. Yeah. And that sort of changed over here. It's really all about the fish that sits there on the rice. (laughs) <laughs> and we had this discussion earlier, so it's, it makes a lot more sense to us, right? It sounds good in your voice. This, oh, thank what you you're, very you're much. talking about. Posh. I'm trying to put me posh, west, west, north, north, west London accent. But when I remember when I first went to Japan, I'm like, oh, great, sushi. It's gonna, we're going to the source, you know, the mecca of sushi. Oh, disappointing. And it was the worst sushi I've ever had. <laughs> it was disappointing. It was yeah. terrible. They don't flash it up at all. Yeah. I guess we're used to the Western, you know, with all the... Yeah, the cocktail umbrellas and all of this. Fan- it's just fancier. Yeah. But yeah. there they just give you a bit of rice with a bit of fish slung on it. No frills. <clears throat> and they add that. What's that? What's that bleeding fish that can kill you if you don't cook it? Blowfish. The, right? the blowfish. Or yeah. is it Blowfeld? Whatever it is. <laughs> Blowfish. Stavro Blofeld, yeah. the James Bond bad guy. Yeah. Blowfish, Blofeld. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They could both kill you. They, they call it fugu, or they, they call it hugu, because they don't say F, do they, in Japan? They say hugu. And, and it is actually a fish, if you don't cook it right, it's, it's a got liver. poison in it, right? The liver is very toxic. This is a rock show I'd like to remind everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Culinary delights. Rockfish. We, we've, only just talking about rockfish. Started, we've only just started. Yeah. Good job. I'm glad I we, stayed up all night for this. We, we, <laughs> we're going to get to Porsches in a minute. Uh, Porsche. The Porsche. Uh, Viv, yeah. Viv is a, a Porsche fanatic. Except I do call him Porsche. Steve, you had a Porsche. We were also talking about that. Yeah, go on. <laughs> it, was a, it was a hairdresser's Porsche. It wasn't a hairdresser's. <laughs> it was convertible and it was automatic. It was the first year. It wasn't manly, in other words. <laughs> it was the first year. Manual or manly? <laughs> Neither. <laughs> 1999 was the first year they changed it. First that. year of the 996 series. Yeah. Yes. Yep. And I got one of them, a convertible, and I rented it for two years. I didn't like it. Too, Porsches, are, to me, are too low to the ground mm. and they're too rigid. Yeah. They're just not my bag. They're for little blokes like you. Yeah. Yeah. Viv. Svelte. And it didn't fulfill the purpose for which it was intended. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was, uh, I don't know, I didn't like it. I like being high up. I like trucks and stuff. You now. like being high? I heard that about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was a few years ago. Though. So what have you been doing, Viv? You've been busy. You've been on I've the been road v- for... very busy. Yeah, Def Leppard, and when I'm not with Def Leppard, I'm with Last in Line. And uh, But you yeah. did a bunch of shows last 
Last year, what, what, 2018? Yeah, 2018, busy year for Def Leppard. We started in May of last year. Uh, we did 60 shows in North America with Journey, doing a co-headline tour. And that was epic. It was, it was really good. And uh, <clears throat> then we went to Hawaii, Japan, Australia, New Zealand, Ireland, England, Scotland, Wales. And you do it on like a good level? You don't do private, right? You're on regular planes? Um, it's okay. You know, we, we don't. We don't have. A, we don't have our own plane. I know. Like no that. one has their own plane. But did you charter well, some one? People charter do. one. Uh, it depends where we are. Sometimes we charter, yeah, but not not very often. So if you wasn't on one of them, you'd be on a. We bus in America. We have a few. Band, we have three band buses. Do you prefer the bus than flying? I, I personally, I love do, it. Yeah, I love the bus. I'm on a bus with Rick Allen. Uh, so it's me and Rick, and usually my wife Kit was on the tour, and our dog Stuart. So it was a fun bus. Yeah. You know. And did you, uh, how did the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame go? That's, that's uh, a week after next. <clears throat> oh, you haven't done it yet? No, we haven't done it. No. But that was, that was also, that was a big thing for us last year because we found out about that just before Christmas. So it was a nice way to end the year. Are you going to uh, pl- perform there? We are going to perform, yeah. Yeah, we're going to do a few of the usual suspects. And who else of Def Leppard is going to be taking one? Um... Well, the five of us currently, yeah. Steve Clark, posthumously, um, Pete Willis, I, I believe and hope. I, I, Pete's been invited. I don't know if he's going to show up or not. I hope he does. You know. Yeah. Be a better crack, as you yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. Do you know um, who's inducting you? I do. Brian May. The, oh. man, the man with the curly hair and the curly guitar lead. Yeah. Yeah. He's great, He's man. a lovely chap, Brian. He really is a sweetheart. Yeah. He came on here a few months back. Mm-hmm. Really sweet bloke. Yeah. I, I think he just made a few quid as well recently. Well, that movie thing. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Sold a lot. Did yeah. well that movie. Yeah, did you Did you see it? Yeah. I saw it. Yeah. Did you good. like it? I liked it. You like it? I d- I did like it. Yeah. I'm not a hardcore Queen fan. I remember being told that that some part of it was out of sequence, in terms of you know this that song wasn't on that album or it didn't wasn't out at that time or whatever. Oh. You know, so anorak stuff. You're a real you train know. spotter. Yeah. But I I'm not. I'm not that much of a Queen fan that I would know that, so it didn't spoil my level of enjoyment, yeah. if you know what I mean. But, yeah. Uh, well, it's, it's remarkable if you look at the Billboard chart. There's a, about 12 or 13 songs, Queen songs, in the chart right now. Right now. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Very good. Let's talk about sushi. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like wild salmon, personally. You do? See, I like the, f- the farm stuff, because the wild stuff's too chewy. Fish you like the farm raised? Yeah, I know you're not supposed to, but... Well, no, actually, there's a new... Farrow, it's, it's a farm place, but it's in the ocean. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's the better way than actually wild now, because most wild places, are less, unless it's like up in Iceland or Atlantic, yeah. it's contaminated. Yeah, yeah, a lot of it's sure. contaminated. Yeah. So that's yeah. that's uh, the things you learn on a Friday afternoon. Yeah. See what I do on for the radio. You? Yeah. It's just more educational than PBS. I spoil you, right, <laughs> Viv? <laughs> you do, Steve. It's nice to be back. Last time I was on your show, the studio was about a tenth of the size of this. Remember that little place? The indie, indie yeah. one, yeah. And I'm glad to see they've given you some room to fart in. You're, oh, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> these two, these two will attest <laughs> to the sense. See, when you're on the radio, you fart is one thing. When you're in the room, yeah. you have to, you know, smell it. It's another yeah. thing. Some, some days are not good, especially if I had sushi the night before. Yeah. So it's a sort of antiseptic kind of thing. It's a detachment when you're listening to the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. You can't, I'll tell you what. What you can't do is keep talking about farts because then I fart. It's like it's like when you when you turn the tap on, you want to go to the bathroom. You talk about farts enough, you're gonna get it. You're gonna regret you mentioned farts. Viv's just put a clothes peg on his nose. He's making that he ain't listening, like. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm just dreaming of sushi. Sushi, come to me. Sushi. I don't actually eat sushi. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I like fish cooked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the only meat I don't actually eat meat. I eat fish. Yeah. And I never ate fish till I stopped eating meat. Funny old world, isn't it? It's crazy, Viv. It's just nuts, Steve. Look at us. I know. Still here. Three blokes. Just here. Talking about farming fish. Chewing the fat. And farts. And farts. We've just gotten started. Mm. What else is going to come into the fray? 
Oh, there's another. Frey, farts and fish. They're all F words. F words. F, F, F. There you go. Should we play some music? Yeah. Why don't we do that? Before we lose yeah, completely yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody <laughs> listening. Fine idea. Uh, we got a bit of a Iggy Pop. This is Sweet 16 live from the post-pop depression. Live at the Royal Albert Hall. We're here with my guest Vivian Campbell and Phil Suzanne from their band... Last in line. Last, Last in line. line. Rock and roll. You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox. And KLOS. On an acoustic guitar. You can play along with us. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to do a version of... Well, you wrote this, right, Viv, with uh, mm-hmm. Ronnie James Dio? Ronnie and Vinny and uh, Jimmy Vip. And uh, I, I thought, what a great idea to do this. Mm. And you two play it and I'll whistle it. And we'll talk about sushi. I actually bought you a lyric sheet if you wanted it. I don't need it with the whistling. <laughs> <laughs> no, you yeah. Actually, I, bought, I got a chart too. In uh, Spinal Tap tradition, it's, it's not a music chart, it's an astrology chart for you. <laughs> That's your birthday, isn't it? September 3rd? September 3rd. Look at that. I can't read it. But oh, wow. That's, that's good. Whatever it is. <laughs> I'm into that. Looks like you a want to clock. whistle the words? It's, it's okay, let me see the words. <laughs> okay. That's, now now I feel secure. Yeah, there you go. Should we attempt to do that? It looks like I can't stop this guy over there. You <laughs> no, I, I'd be happy to stop. This is killing my fingers. Okay. Playing this on an acoustic. Okay, that was Jay Giles, Hard Driving Man, live from the album Full House. Then we have Thin Lizzy, Emerald, Live and Dangerous. Little <laughs> down. Yay! There you go, St. Patrick's Day and all that. Sunday. Bloody Sunday. Tuner, bloody tuner. <laughs> What's the first line? Uh, something like it. I can't believe the news today. Where can I? Ah, oh, be <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, then we had Iggy Pop. We said that one, right? Um, so you want to give that a shot? Listen, who do you think started? You know the Lizzie, the dueling guitars? Yeah. Do you think they invented that? Or was that... Or was that well, Allman like, Brothers, wasn't Allman it? Allman Brothers, yeah. right? They were probably doing it first. Yeah, I would think so. So would you say it was kind of taken from that? Yeah, definitely. Mm. But, I mean... Lizzie really kind of refined it. I like know. the Lizzie, Lizzie stuff. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, you know, more. better melodies. You know, in the harmony. This is really tough on acoustic. I'm going to make excuses all day. Don't believe me if I tell you. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's a great right. guitar solo. It's one of my favorite guitar solos in that. I'm not even going to attempt to try yeah. to play it. Was that this. was that uh, was that Robertson? Yes, Robo? that was Robo. And apparently he played it on a Stratocaster, you know, because he's he a Les, Les Paul, Paul player. Did. Yeah, but there was a, for some reason there was a Strat in the studio. He told us this story uh, a few years ago, and because I was very curious. <laughs> and I, I, I think the Strat just happened to be there, and so for whatever reason, he played yeah. that solo on a Stratocaster. The things you learn, Steve. I'm telling Not you. Sushi, sushi you know? and farting yeah. and yep. Porsches and... Porsche. Porsche. What's I, the difference? I like Gary's slow version of that. Did you ever hear that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Don't believe me if I tell you not a word of this is true Don't believe me if I tell you Especially if I tell you I'm in love with you Don't believe me if I tell you I wrote this song for you 
There just might be some other so pretty girl I'm singing a tear I don't believe a word For words can tell lies In lies are no comfort Thanks for some verb. And tears are in your eyes. No. <laughs> okay. Good. Oh, That's Steve, very good. you're so kind. You're you very charitable. You deliberately stop it so we don't release it. That's what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> that, that works for me, yeah. <laughs> yeah that um, was um, what was I going to say? Uh, 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 you know, we were talking when we were in the toilet, Viv. Like you do? You know, and... Uh, like men do? Like blokes do, just chatting. Relieving and chatting. Relieving and chatting. Chatting and relieving. Mm -hmm. And I was saying... To me, to have a Cockney rhyming slang name would be way more... I'd be way more impressed with that than getting knighted or an OBE if you get someone... You know, like Bill Grundy's. Oh, like yeah. Undies. Right, right. Hank Marvin, Starvin. Yeah. yeah. Well, like, what is Steve Jones going to rhyme I don't, with? I don't know. Jonesy. Uh, mm. I don't know. I might have to change my name. <laughs> I think you will, actually. <laughs> I mean, work. there's hundreds of them. There's know. tons of them. I, Jimmy I, Riddle, that's how it Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy Riddle. I was going for a Jimmy Riddle. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Or Gregory. Gregory Peck. Gregory Peck. <laughs> Gregory Peck is a neck. Check. Or Anna Check. Check. Or Vincent. Vincent Price is ice. Yeah. And uh, was it... Uh, a cab. Uh, a sherbet oh, dab. Yeah, there's a brilliant one for... Uh, but names, though. Yeah. Um, uh, I forgot what it's, it's for a gin and tonic, but it's... Uh, <laughs> It's so obscure. I, I'll, I'll remember it, and I'll call you up at about 4 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, but we want to talk about it now. Yeah. yeah, that's the only difference. There's a great one in the uh, Peter Grant book, actually. He's talking about a lady, and he said, not the one with the airy scotches. You ever heard that one? <laughs> scotches? Scotch eggs. Scotch eggs. Legs, yeah. I didn't even know that one. Really? I've never heard that one before. <laughs> I, I'll tell you one that's even bizarre, and they say it on TV, and it's well out of order, yeah. is Berkshire Hunt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's a... He, sh shut up, Shovel. <laughs> <laughs> He's a right Burke. They always said that yeah. on TV, but a actually that's what it means. He's yeah. a right Burke. Right. Mm. Wow. Yeah. See Live what you're you learning. Sushi, Porsches. Yeah. Rhyming slang. Rhyming slang. Yeah. Right. I wish you probably so go then. <laughs> it's good stuff. So I'll get my coat. Um, okay, let's let's attempt uh, Rainbow in the Dark. You two oh, play, and I'm going to whistle. Do you want to okay. do the big G chord to start yeah, with? Yeah, sure. Why not? Right. Plenty of reverb. On your thanks for lending me your Gibson J200. You can come back well, now on this one, camera. Three, four. You can whistle the wee motif, you know. No. Okay. Guess not.
solo would happen. <laughs> Should we attempt, attempt a solo? No. Let's not. Okay. Yeah. All right. Very good, Very Steve. Good. You're that a fine, good. fine fettler of the whistle. I found it at the end. Yeah. Well, it's a hard key, that one. He had some pipes, didn't he? Oh, yeah. Ronnie was, was pretty serious indeed. Yeah. Great, great singer. Do you remember that band that you had, uh, Reservoir? River Dogs. River not Dogs. R- Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> That's a movie. Yeah, yeah, no. I yeah. remember that. I remember that. Yeah, Rob Lamoth was a singer in that band, an exceptional singer, and nobody knows who he is. Wasn't it also... Uh, uh, there was another singer as well, though. Didn't you not with River Dogs, no. It oh. was Rob Lamoth. Rob the Muff? Rob La Moth. See, that's a good Cockney rhyme slang. Rob the Moth. Rob the Moth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now I can't think of any bleeding names. Yeah. Cockney rhyme and slang names. Um, okay. Yeah. Should we play some music then? Oh, oh hello. Geez. What's that? That's, that's the Beatles, Beatles isn't it? Go on then. Let's see here. Oh. Well, I'm not going to play that. Oh, jeez. It all hurts today, Steve. Was, was it there a Beatles song we was going to oh, attempt to play? One after 909. One is that easy? easy? That's easy. We'll figure it out. Let's play some music, come right. back, and I'll, yeah. I'll get my axe out, right. too. Ooh. And we'll try to think of some Cockney rhyming slang names in names. the meantime. Uh, okay, uh, last in line. This is a track called Landslide. Yeah. Yep. It's out. It's uh, out down? Yeah, album's out. It came out February 22nd, doing very nicely and very, doing very well in England and over here as well. And We've sold 14 copies. 14. That's good these days. It Actually, I think good, we yeah. sold another one this morning. Okay. So 15. You did? 15 copies. 15 copies yeah. now. Break out the champagne. That. Break yes. out the champagne. At least the sparkling cider, yes. We're here with uh, Viv Campbell and Phil Susan. Mm-hmm. What's that? Uh, it's just noodling around, but it could be. It's something. Oh, it's so out of tune. Yes, you're always blaming it on out of tune. Yeah, it's just me. I can't play. You're a fine player, Viv. Thanks. Yeah, the song Last in Line from Whence the Name Came, Last in Line. We started this project. What's that, what's, who, who is that song, though? It's Dio. It's the title that's, track that's of the second it, album. It, yeah. Right. That's why, because the, the band Last in Line is the remnants of the Dio band, which right now is just me and Vinny. We're the only two left alive. Jimmy's gone, Ronnie's gone. Um, but we started, uh, I elected <laughs> foolishly to call the band Last in Line just because we were going out and playing clubs, doing songs like that, you know, and like yeah, Holy yeah. Diver and that kind of stuff. Um, but then it's kind of grown into this. It's this our second album of original music. So had I known it back then, I probably wouldn't have called it Last in Line because it's a bit confusing for people. Yeah. It was confusing yeah. for us last time we were on here. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm totally confused. But- Right now, um, you're going to go touring through March, April, May in the US. Yep. Playing the Golden Nugget Woo-hoo! in Las Vegas on yes. the 26th of April. Free buffet. The Ramona <laughs> main, the, the Ramona main stage, yep. the main stage. Yeah, as opposed to the side stage. Yeah, or in the parking lot. <laughs> April 27th in San Diego County, the Download Festival. June 14th. With Def Leppard, no yeah. less. At Donington. That's, yeah, that's what you're Donington. doing. That's, yeah. what, that's what Phil said. You're doing two shows. Yeah, we're doing Your fingers that. are really going to be sore after that one. They will be, yeah. yeah. I know, but at least I won't be And your calves anymore. will be sore as well. Yes, but at least I'll have an electric We're going to bring you some hand cream. And your thighs will be very sore. They would be if I still played football. I know, we used I, to play football. We used to play football together, yep. Yeah. I know. Was you any good? I can't remember. Uh, it was better than you. <laughs> no, no, you weren't. No, you bleeding one. <laughs> yeah, it was, Stevie. Hit the break it to you. Uh, um, this guy, he, he <laughs> tears me down because I had a post called it an ad- ad- address. <laughs> no, I, you you just didn't work very hard as a football player. You wanted the ball, like, right on your foot. You know, when you, you'd play centre forward, I was a midfielder, and I would well, do all the running Yeah, and you, and resented, all the work. you resented people I who did, I forwards. resented, yeah. You, you were like the, the lead singer of the football team. You'd be up there goal poaching, waiting for the straight yeah, ball. that's what that's what Looking for the glory, do. yeah. And and I was the, the engine room, you know. Yeah, wherever you want to look at it. 
however you want to look at it. But yeah, you, I remember you scored some good goals. So. Yeah, I was known as the uh, yeah. the Shepherd's Bush goal machine. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were known as a few other things, but uh, uh, like like you. Burke. Burke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's play one of your songs. Yeah, Last in Line. Yeah, yeah? yeah. Landslide. 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 Take it away. Well, that fade goes on a bit, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a, it's a yeah. bit annoying, isn't it? It is. A it took a long time to get right. Yep. That was last in line with Landslide. I'll, I'll do your work for you, Steve. And I think you want to visit the Duke or something, did you say? Well, we are going to visit the Duke. We're here yeah. with Viv Campbell with Phil Susan from the from the band Last in Line. We're going to be right back. And we're going to make complete fools of ourselves like we have done in the first hour. Yeah. In the second hour. See you in a minute. You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox on KLOS. That was Queen Sheer Heart Attack from the album. Something about the world, isn't it? News of the world, that was it. I knew the world, world was in it. The world. C- city sausage. News of the screws. Did we mention it? <laughs> <laughs> Did we mention that it was St. Paddy's Day for Sunday? Lord Murphy, Day, yeah, on Sunday. What the hell was that? That was a uh, song, Horse Lips. Did you ever hear Horse Lips? Horse Lips? Yeah, an Irish sort of... Jig? No, they were a band. They put out a bunch of albums in the 70s. The band was called Horse Lips. Uh, they're sort of a rock band meets traditional band. They had tr- tr- like Tin Whistle and Ulan Pipes. and. I remember the Bachelors. <laughs> Do you remember the Carpenters? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Good, just checking. Uh, I've got a rock cotton rhyme slang. Oh, yes. Irish jig. That's Irish jig? Yeah. That's right. Or, or I, I prefer syrup for that well, one. Well, syrup, yeah. Syrup. Yeah, syrup yeah, of yeah. fig. We're right. talking about wigs. Yeah, a- yeah. Actually, this this could wow. be, this is a special moment because I think you are being inducted into, into the, the cockney rhyme and slang, slang hall, fame, hall of fame. Hall of fame here. Steve, Steve you, Jones. You yes. came up with it. Oh, that's right. So I was thinking about putting our headphones on. Headphones. What we call them? Phones, right? Phones. I think I'll put my Steve's on. Steve Jones. Steve Jones. My phones. I'm my head. How's that? It'll never stick. I, I think it will. I you are such a negative. <laughs> negative man. You got it in for me, man. You had it in for me, that old bleeding morning. Is this moment of glory? Come on. Yeah, okay. You can have your moment back, No, Steve. no, it's gone. <laughs> it's passed. Sorry. I didn't mean to steal your moment. It's passed. It's, uh, it's past. your show. Yeah, you thanks. can have your moment. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Um, You've never heard horse lips, really? Horse lips. That was a cast tune called Derek Doom. And Derek was, Doom? Yeah, and that was probably their best known thing, so clearly it didn't make it to London. <laughs> it never left the Emerald Isle, I take it. You know what's a great tune? It's Black Rose. <gasps> Part of that is a, is a yeah. traditional... Danny Boy, right? Yeah. We sound like Led Zeppelin now. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, Danny boy, <laughs> the pipes is calling. <laughs> I'll be Jesus, can you spare me some corn? <laughs> That's a good one. Pretty good, right? Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. That's the, what, who was the band you come up with that originally? Whiskey in the Jar. That Liz- was like a traditional Irish yeah, it was, band. It was Lizzie. That was her first hit. No, but before that, that was that was taken from something else. Yeah, it's a traditional tune. Right. Now, who was the band? I don't know. Chief that, was that the I ba- don't know. Was that the Bachelors? No, it was probably the Carpenters. <laughs> <laughs> Karen Carpenter doing uh, the Irish jig. Oh, BJ. Yeah. There's a Michael Flatley on the phone for you, Viv. <laughs> 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 
they're just trying to valet park a whole bunch of cars right now. We, we can't think of a song that we all know to play live on the air. Oh. In the meantime... Yep, dab, dibby, dip, bump, bump, be dooby. As I was going over the Cook and Carroll Mountains, I met a Captain Farrell and his money. He was counting. First produce my pistol I then produce my rapier I say stand and deliver all oh, the devil he will take ya mushroom he coming to come and die Wait for my daddy oh let's wait for my daddy oh whiskey on jar Hurt. I'm not used to this guitar playing malarkey oh, stuff. But every time we stop, you start playing again. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, I, I play something easier. <laughs> they were just called. What are you talking about? All right. Uh, Too late now. Too late now. Jonesy's Jukebox and KLOS. Yes, you are. What did you just hear there, Steve? That what was, was that one, uh, one of your guys' songs. Uh, Last uh, in Line. Yeah. What was the name of the song? Tell Black me. Blackout the Sun from LIL. Black Hole Sun. Album. It sounded no, nothing no, no, no. like Black Hole Sun. Blackout the Sun. Oh, Blackout Black Out the, the Sun. Blackout the Sun. You guys are going to split in a minute. 
but we're going to leave you with a bit of Def Leppard. Did you write this one, Biff? No, I did not. Wow. I wasn't even in the band when we did it. Okay. A steer. This is from a steer. Out of touch. Nor am I the singer. <laughs> I'd reach you. You can try to get closer to me. I'm in love I'm in deep, yeah, yeah Hypnotized I'm shaking to my knees I gotta know tonight If you're alone tonight Can't stop this feeling Stop this fire I can't hysteria Hysteria Well can you feel it It's such a magical Mysteria When you get the feeling Just say you will Just say you will Oh babe I get hysteria When you near Should I quit now? Oh, why did you say something? Whoa. Just keep going. Okay, it's a song. Okay. Right. Start as a start and an ending. <laughs> Out of me. Into you, yeah. Thought you had to pay the Duke or something. <laughs> you can't hide. Oh, no. It's just a one-way street. I believe. I'm in you. I don't know the words to this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something else, and something else. Without fail. Okay. <laughs> I gotta know tonight. If you're alone tonight, I can't stop this feeling. Can't stop this fire. I can't hysteria. Hysteria. Such a magical mysteria when you get the feeling. Just say you will, just say you will, oh baby. Look at the last chorus. Just say you will, just say you will, oh babe. Just say you will, just say you will. When you're near Steve Jones. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, he almost finished it. Without, I know. I almost got goofing I around. Got the words right too. I just. Uh, I haven't had a lot of sleep last night. We I should work know. that out next time. Yeah, so next time we should work everything out. Ah, it's <laughs> right. it's, it's right. a great concept. Somebody told me about this once. It's called rehearsals. Ah, yeah. <laughs> be Jesus. You know? It's all right. Lord of Murphy. Ah, uh, no. Hold on. Oh, oh, I leave you with this gift. <laughs> a parting <laughs> shot from Steve Jones. Thanks for that. There's a Phil. green cloud. Thanks, Phil. That was Whoa. nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, he, uh, he. <laughs> All right, listen. Thanks he for who coming. Denied it, supplied it. Isn't that how it goes? Something like that. Yeah. Olsen Cart. <laughs> Olsen Cart. Olsen Cart. Uh, Orson Wells. Yeah. No, 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 can't can't, can't shut yeah, the no, guy no. up, look. No, I know. Moaning. Complain, Can't shut complain. Because we're talking and it ain't about him. Right. He has to interject. <laughs> what a book. <laughs> what a... <laughs> uh, thanks for coming in. Yeah, yeah. Thanks lovely. for having nice us. Nice to see you again. Good luck. Good luck Brilliant. at the old uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's very grown up, isn't it? A round of I'm applause. Wear a suit it? or something. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Studio you. Studio round of applause. Vivian yeah. Campbell, Phil Sassan, and yep. uh, from the band... Last in line. The last in line. The album out now. And uh album's called Two. Two Bob? No, it two. is two Bob. Two, yeah. like the Roman numerals two. Oh, okay. Because no one's ever done that before. No. <laughs> like that's exactly no one's done no, anything no. like that. It's uh, been a while though. Sabbath ever, never. Ever, never, ever, ever. Yeah. I've got a funny story about Black Sabbath. Go on and get it out quick. Really quick. 
Uh, it was a story that Ozzy used to tell me when they first went on tour. You know, the promoters used to put them with all kinds of different bands. They weren't necessarily with rock bands. And one of their first tours, they were out with an R&B band. And they were doing the show, and there are not too many people, but there's one guy in front. He's waving. He's trying to say something. He's trying to say something for about four or five songs. After about five songs, Ozzy says, okay, what, what? And the guy looks up and he goes, hey, Black Sabbath, you guys ain't black. <laughs> <laughs> That was worth the wait, Phil. Wasn't it? That was fantastic. What an ending. Okay, okay, stop. It's my only Black Sabbath funny story I know. We're going to visit the Duke, and uh, we will see you Monday. Um, I'll be back in a little bit. Got another half hour. Without us. Without them two. Yeah. Or or without one of them, anyway. Oh, I can say, can I? Huh? All right. (laughs) No, I've been (laughs) you. See you in a minute. Been to the Disneyland Resort lately? All this weekend, Kayla went...